Well, good morning, everyone. It is Christmas Eve. Whether that's a holiday you celebrate or not, it is around today. Um, so, happy holiday to you, or happy getting around this thing to the rest of you, the rest of us, really. I have a little reading for you today. I'm still on holiday myself. So I'm in my little niece's bedroom for two more days. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into let's get into this for today. Uh, the King of Rods. Very nice. I got that in a reading for myself last night. Judgment. Ooh, I can already feel what this is all about. And lovers, again, so many lovers and two of cups lately. I think because at this holiday time, there is so much family going on. And these, both of those, sorry for the foot, are um, about um, interpersonal connection and growth through interpersonal connection. But we're going to start with the Knight of Rods. So for Knight of Rods, um, this is Wands. And, um, oh yeah, the fiery part of fire. Fun, fun, fun. Um, there's a, This is usually a call to action of some sort. A call to action in the action part of your life right in the parts of you that are like well my next step might be it's here the next step is here and this energy which is charismatic and um a bit no holds barred um yeah i would say so um and definitely not afraid of transformation this is kind of almost like the going through uh, a trial initiation, a basic training kind of feeling of sort of being forged through the fire. The fiery part of fire in our personalities is not a tra afraid of transformation. And what this relates to today is the judgment card. I love judgment card. It's been a while since this has come up for me. Judgment is... Um, Today, I really feel like this is relating to calling. I often feel like when you get this card, this has to do with sloughing off all of the non-essential questions and pieces of your path and getting down to the most uh, basic need. Your most basic need in being alive is just to be able to fully find and express your gift and and be in community with it. Your most basic need in uh, being in a relationship is to um, kind of find a sense of belonging at the same time as fully growing into your own compassionate self. So that's the lovers. This brings us to the lovers. Uh, the lovers is exactly that. Learning compassion. Learning um, like the spiritual journey that comes through gazing into another's eyes. Whether that be being in the reflecting pool of a family life situation over the holidays. Or whether that be with uh, your beloved. Or whether that be with uh, learning to love being alive there's a big part of many of us that is just not so sure about even being here that is just not so sure that this incarnation thing was a great idea <laughs> and sometimes questionably it was and yet we are here to do a something and that something through the lens of the lover's card is to um E yeah, is to like grow attachment and through looking into the eyes of the what have you to have reflected back to you your own like deepest inner self, the, the part of you that is not you. 
the part of you that is eternal, the part of you that is godly, the part of you that is divine, the part of you that is unchanging. And it is that part of you that the judgment trumpet calls to, the trump judgment trumpet calls to the part of you that is un unchanging and uniquely your own vibration put on this planet for the purpose of being uniquely your own vibration, of going through your own trials and tribulations, the necessary fires, the necessary fires of um, transformation to get you into your deepest, realest, most authentic expression um, with the help of love, with the help of all types of relating, really. Um, hopefully getting us down to the core of love at some point. So this, this is, um, this is your reading for today. Yeah, I don't think I do want to go for further. I, I do feel like it situates pretty well into, um, being in the communal situation that we're in, whether you're with family or not, or just there's holiday tizzy that you're blithely enjoy, uh, ignoring or enjoying, <laughs> um, or whether, um, yeah, it situates us into that and it situates us into coming into the new year with the solstice and with the calendar new year coming up with this judgment card, which is very much a, a passion calling seed of self card. Seed of self. I like that idea. I like that phrase. In any case, I'm sending a lot of love to each of you. And I'm apologizing again for broadcasting from a five-year-old's bedroom. Um, and I'm going to do it again tomorrow. And then I'll see you back at home in Los Angeles. Um, much love to you today. All right. Goodbye.